They're finally here. Eighth generation gaming laptops. These are all running the Coffee Lake H processors, 8750H. These are six core CPUs that are a significant step up in performance over the previous like seventh generation. The one you guys are probably most familiar with is the 7700HQ. That's like the one that's been on every single gaming laptop that's at the high end. Um, traditionally, gaming laptops have been capped at four cores. Just That's just the way it's been for years. And these are now six core. So it's a 50% increase in cores and pretty much a 50% increase in performance when it comes to multi-core applications. And I'm gonna focus this video on the 8750H and it's the processor you're gonna see in a lot of the gaming and high performance laptops that are gonna come out over the course of the year. Now this CPU has six cores, 12 threads, 45 watt TDP with some really nice clock speeds. Keep in mind that that turbo clock is only for a single core, but these are some really fast CPUs. Okay, so we're in some benchmarks and these all have actually very similar performance when it comes to CPU performance, but I kind of took an average to come up with these numbers. So the first one I ran was Geekbench, and it isn't a great benchmark by any means, but because of how easy it is to get, you can just kind of download it and run it to see how your system compares to these ones. The next benchmark is from 3D Mark. It's their Firestrike physics score, and we're looking at a pretty sizable bump up from the previous generation of CPUs. And then I ran Cinebench. This is a better benchmark, and you can see a pretty big increase in performance compared to the 7700HQ from last generation. We're talking like a 50% boost in multi-core performance. So for content creators, that can be huge. In Premiere Pro, my render times are way faster with my 5K footage, like 40% faster, it's sick. When it comes to gaming, the majority of games are much more dependent on the GPU than they are on a CPU. That being said, there are some developers, and I think we'll be seeing more and more developers that put a bigger emphasis on CPU optimization, like having just better optimized code for a higher core count. And as an example, PUBG was one of those games that had an update last year that optimized for six core CPUs, or six core and higher CPUs. And comparing benchmarks, you can see that there is a step up in performance. You're not gonna see massive gains when it comes to regular gameplay, but if you're someone who streams or if you record gameplay footage while you play, then those extra two cores will be really nice. Now, the temperatures on these things are pretty much the same. Like every laptop is gonna be different, obviously depending on the thermal design, but comparing it on the Aero 15X, which has a very similar thermal design to the previous one, the temperatures look pretty much the same as a previous generation. So all three of these laptops are running these new six core CPUs, the Intel Coffee Lake H processors, and they're all they're all really, really good. I'm gonna be doing individual reviews for all of them. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. But the bottom line is this. If your application or your workflow can take advantage of multi-core processing, these CPUs are freaking phenomenal. I thought they would be good, but they're really, really good. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.